Woo! Welcome to another video. In today's video, dun, 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 dun. the Camaro got the new spindle mounted. Right there, no more Camborghini. It's actually straight like it used to be. And uh, well, well, this is this side was straight already. This side was all bent up because this is the side where Juan hit the, uh, the wall. But anyway, look at this. Oh, we got a freaking gas and brake pedal too. Lit. Well, we got a gas and brake pedal mounted. We got a transmission mounted. It's it's mounted. Oh. Does it work yet? No, because we got a wooden block on the cross member that goes across. But we also have <laughs> we have the uh, torque arm mounted, and the torque arm is also mounted to the wooden block. Um, we're we're gonna make our own mount for the uh, power glide, but. For now, this is how we have it mocked up. The rear end is completely mounted on completely like it's supposed to be. Can't really see it, but it's mounted. Sway bar and all, diff, everything, everything, everything is mounted like it's supposed to be. Let me get a flashlight. Let me get a flashlight so we can get a little better light down there and y'all can actually see what I'm showing y'all. All right, flashlight. Here we go. Let's see if it's enough light. Ooh. Okay. So, as y'all can see, the diff is now completely tightened up and right right there you can kind of see the torque arm right there that is the torque arm anyway everything's mounted fuel tanks mounted shout out to my dad he got bored today and mounted the fuel tank and tighten this up but anyway uh, see what we can get our hands into right now all right so we just put the uh, throttle body on the intake and now I will be we're gonna be putting on the uh, now we're gonna be putting on the fuel rails. Diablo, so well, that's good. <laughs> Test fitting the AN lines for the fuel pressure regulator, and we're trying to make it look fancy. Everything is going to be ran under the intake, or you cannot see it. As you can see, we have the fuel regulator mounted on the front of the intake, and we're trying to keep everything as symmetrical as possible. Same goes for the rear. This is where the fuel from the fuel pump will feed. And it will go through the fuel rails to the fuel regulator. And then we have this dash six bung right here. And right through the center of the intake will go a dash six line that will probably go through here. I don't know. But we're trying to make it look symmetrical. It's pretty symmetrical at the moment. All right, guys. So we got a junk filter for the car because the first oil obviously is not going to be a good oil. It's just going to be to start it, basically. Then we'll change the oil and put some good oil in it. And uh, well, we put an LS filter on and it would not screw on to this uh, oil pan. So we brought the filter over here to the 5.3 truck pan and it screwed on perfectly. But the 5.3 truck pan and the LS1 style oil pan apparently use the same filter. Somehow, our LS1 oil pan does not use the same filter and uh, ended up being a 50 Coyote <laughs> oil filter that went on there. So uh, now it's really a Frankenstein. We've got Coyote parts on here.
we have to cut the uh, secondary cowling to be able to get the intake to actually fit once we picked up the engine the intake would not fit at all so we're cutting it because we don't need that just extra weight holding us down and uh, well as you can see we're not thinking about it. Freaking spot welds. We're actually gonna mount the intake for the first time, like actually mounted, mounted on there finally. And we already have all the fuel rails on it. No injectors, but we got the fuel rails on it for now. Just to see how it looks actually on the car. Take this off. Hey guys, this is like day four of me trying to uh, finish this video, but this is, we're in the point of the build where there's a lot of little things that we gotta do. And I don't think y'all would like really enjoy watching me do all these little things. But anyway, fast forward a little bit, I'm gonna show you what we've done and what we've accomplished in the last uh, day or so. So uh, here you go. Okay, so we have put the throttle body on. We've actually mounted the intake, it's bolted down. We have installed our fuel rolls and actually put the injectors on. Uh, we put the TPS sensor and all the little sensors that go on. We have uh, successfully mounted our starter down here. Look at that, right there, it's the starter. Uh, we have successfully mounted our headers, which y'all saw already, but we actually had to massage and actually grind down that steering linkage right there and bang up one of the headers. You can see probably right there, there's some dents in the side of it. But uh, yeah, slowly coming. We're actually trying to get the truck alternator bracket to work, but um, I don't know, we'll find out, we'll figure it out. Well, before the lights go down and the sun, well, looks a lot brighter in the camera than it does outside anyway we put the water pump on and ran into some fuel rail issues crossover lines so we're running that a different way now also our alternator bracket I don't remember if y'all remember but it was like super huge the truck is supposed to go way over there but anyway we cut it and instead of it being straight up and down right there we're gonna try to mount it sideways like this and the alternator is going to be facing like this at a 45 so it doesn't hit the throttle body or fuel rail or anything like that but yeah it's a bunch of little custom homemade things now instead of uh just off the shelf you can buy it it doesn't work like that but anyway that's what happens when you get a junkyard build you try to go cheap ha i totally forgot about making an outro Anyway, like always, like, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and have a freaking awesome day. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down to ride, you weren't down to ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. Money on the floor, can't get cold feet. Took a L, should have put it in the whole free. Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know of me. Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts Lost control, now I'm taking charge Breaking
making bills, friends breaking off. You could be the youngest under the dawn.